Japan entered the 2016 Asia Rugby Championship unsure of what this year's series would bring. After convincing wins against Korea at home and Hong Kong on the road, interim national team coach Ryuji Nakatake is delighted with his young side's current form. For Japan, it's clear that after two matches, they are still the team to beat. And with the World Rugby Under-20 Championship on the horizon, a young and inexperienced side just got younger. Three Under-20 debutants are scheduled to start in this weekend's match against Korea. ま、Korea are still stinging from last week's home loss to Hong Kong. Two second half tries from the boys in blue even the match at 27 before Hong Kong raced across for a late winner. The improvement in the side, however, was unmistakable. What we're asking from the guys is that each week we improve and each game we improve and, and we certainly got an improved performance. Um, with that being said, within the game there are crucial moments um, and towards the end of the game we probably didn't close the game out as we would have liked and you know that's composure and, and that comes with uh, playing a lot of games together. This will be Korea's third international match in four weeks and they will hope to go one better than their near miss against Hong Kong. Japan is always a difficult opponent no matter who is in their side but over the years no one has played them tougher than Korea at home. Play Japan, our seat pieces really struggled. So we really want to, I mean, we improved against Hong Kong, but we want to get better at that. Um, but saying that, if they keep killing the ball and we can't get our clean outs and little small details right, we'll never, you know, be competitive. So that's what we want to work on our seat pieces and those clean outs. Korea at home versus Japan tomorrow. Consult your local listings or visit us on facebook.com/asia.rugby for more information.